Hey, it's Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are comparing security groups versus NACLs. So I have this nice architectural diagram that has both NACLs and security groups in them, and we'll just kind of talk about these two. So NACLs stand for Network Access Control Lists, and they act as a virtual firewall at the subnet level. And so here you can create an allow uh, and deny rules. And this is really useful if you want to block a specific IP address known for abuse. And I'm, and I'm going to just kind of um, compare that against uh, security groups because that's going to be a very important difference, okay? So secur security groups act as a firewall at the instance level and they implicitly deny all traffic. So you create only allow rules. So uh, you can allow an EC2 instance to access port on uh, port 22 for SSH, but you cannot block a single IP address. And the reason I say that is because in order for you to block a single IP address in security group, you would literally have to block or you'd literally have to allow everything but that IP address and that's just not feasible, okay? And so if you can remember that one particular example, you'll always be able to remember the difference between these two. One other thing that um, AWS likes to do is, is ask which ones are stateless, which ones are stateful, but at the uh, cloud practitioner level, they're not gonna be asking you that, okay? 